Selling your business may be one of the most important personal and financial events of your lifetime. Careful planning is required as the decisions you make or fail to make can impact the attractiveness of your company to prospective buyers and limit your ability to maximize on your investment and valuable tax saving. Are you ready? Is your company ready? To answer this, you need to see the whole picture. We are a unique collaboration of four leading global advisors. Working together, we can help you put all the pieces in place and make sure nothing is overlooked. We are Exit Plus. Hello, I'm Shanas Nasser with Tentrix. Joining from Washington is Chris O.P. at Bernstein Private Wealth Management. From Amsterdam is Mark Carmichael at STS Capital Partners. From New York is Eric Gelb at PKF O'Connor Davis. And from London, Chris Rose at Denton's. Thanks for joining us. Mark, based on your experience, what aspects of the business help to determine its value? And how does one go about maximizing it at exit? Thanks, Shanaz. You know, that's a big and important question. And, and given the that my time is short here, I'll focus my response on the most important factor that viewers, I think, need to know, uh, that they need to know about as it relates to receiving the highest valuation and the best overall deal structure. The surest way to obtain the highest price in the best overall terms from the, the, the buyer, the acquirer that represents the highest probability of successfully concluding a transaction in the shortest amount of time possible is through a competitive bidding environment. This is achieved by positioning the offering to acquire the seller's business to an international audience of, of highly researched and targeted strategic and financial buyers. And, and having multiple would-be acquirers you know, around the proverbial negotiation table, each competing to acquire your business is unquestionably the most effective uh, way to elicit the most attractive price and overall deal structure. And included within that process is the identification and positioning of key attributes of the seller's business to potential buyers. And that includes things like, you know, the synergies between the seller and the potential buying party, um, any uh, unrealized growth uh, potential within the business, the strength of the senior management team, um, the, the stickiness of the, the, the business's clients and its revenue base. Those are just to name a few in the limited time that I have here, but I'm interested to hear what some of the other guys have to say about this. We're seeing, I, I couldn't agree more, Mark. We're also seeing greater emphasis on uh, due diligence for the buyers, which has been around a long, long time. Usually often people call that quality of earnings to see if the accounting books and records are giving meaningful uh, numbers, good reporting. But we're seeing more actually sell side. And if you figure out the value and work with your team, Mark, one of the best ways is to see how your books and records come into play. Uh, are, are the financial statements reviewed or audited by a high quality firm? Do you need pro forma statements, you know, projections? Uh, the other thing we're seeing more and more issues with is, um, how does the family or the current owners, how, what are they taking out of the business? And is that market or not, or above market? Uh, and you know, are, are there some expenses that a new buyer might not otherwise have? So you might wanna isolate those. Uh, the other thing we're seeing is tax filings. So you know, in the haste to uh, run the business and whatnot, and you know, lots of uh, grow the business, we're seeing that many people don't uh, haven't filed all of the returns necessarily. Some things may need to be ended. Uh, there might be some foreign filings in different jurisdictions. In the United States, for example, you're seeing more and more uh, companies end up getting dragged into different state tax uh, regime. So are those filings up to date? Do you need any corrective filings? So all, any of these glitches in the system could really derail or void a sale. So take a look at those things. And to supplement that, Eric, um, on the legal side, you know, good housekeeping is equally important. Um, are the contracts with suppliers and customers buttoned up? Uh, these will be reviewed. Um, 
What about uh, the, your intellectual property, which is often a key value driver for the business? Uh, is it properly protected or is there sloppy accounting in, 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 in records? Um, are there contingent liabilities out there, litigation, uh, claims from employees? Um, whether these are big or small, they do set the stage for a buyer, just like when you're selling your home. It's that housekeeping, it's walking in, it's that look and feel that can contribute to an ultimate valuation and whether someone buys your business or not. And certainly these are value drivers that can be corrected long in advance. Thank you, Chris. I mean, like, like everyone else on the call today, I, I don't think I, I've yet met an entrepreneur who doesn't want to maximize value as part of their sale process. And what's fascinating from our perspective is that sometimes it's actually the planning that's done ahead of the transaction that can be one of the most powerful levers to pull. And in fact, it can yield really surprising results once you put the numbers on paper uh, by mitigating your taxes and securing in the process key objectives for your family. The uh, end state that we wish to get to is ultimately a number of dollars left secured in your pocket rather than perhaps the headline number that was proposed at the beginning of the deal process. So, so key to the successful execution of a deal from our perspective is the pre-transaction planning. And really the most valuable feature in a pre-transaction plan is the time ahead of the deal. So if you engage early, we can help you prioritize your goals. And the one piece of advice I would leave on is to start a conversation ASAP. Thanks, Chris. This ties in nicely with our next video on setting priorities in the sale process. To wrap up, Chris Rose, um, can you please outline the key takeaways for our viewers? Sure, uh, thank you. First one, as Mark said, creating a competitive bidding environment to leverage competition amongst international buyers is going to ensure you get the best price and deal. You should ensure all financial, operational, contracts, intellectual property, all your customer information are updated and make sure your house is in order to mitigate valuation adjustments and undertake effective pre-transaction planning and prioritize your needs. Thanks for watching and thank you everybody. See you on the next one. Bye. How exit ready are you and your business? Find out using our free exit readiness assessment. Simply complete our confidential online survey, which should take you no more than 10 minutes and we'll prepare and send you your personalized report together with your readiness score. Visit www.dentonsexitplus.com for more information.